Annie's in Warrington. Annie, what would you like to say? Hi, James. Uh, long-time listener, first-time caller. Welcome aboard. Um, We've got the lingo off you. pat. <laughs> <laughs> Um, basically, I'm very much in, in support of this, and I've got um, an anecdote for you that might give you some insight into m- my feelings on it. Because I used to work a few years ago for um, a company where I was looking after a team of apprentices. Uh, oh, yeah. They were sort of 16 to 19 years old, mostly boys, few girls. Um, that morning, I got my period unexpectedly yes. and didn't have any sanitary products with me. And it was not long after we'd changed the pound coins. So the machines in the ladies' toilets where you could get some had not been updated to the new pound coins. So I wasn't able to get any from there. Oh. So I went back into the office and was asking around. It was purely around the girls, but was asking yeah. the girls whether they had any, yeah. even though I know these days a lot of young lads do carry sanitary products around with them as it's a good way to... Do they? Yeah. Oh, no, it happens quite a lot. It, there's a big thing about it where young lads carry sanitary towels because it tends to be a, a good way in, uh, you know, for getting chatting to girls and it gives what? a good impression to them. Um, really? Yeah. Are you no, sure? I'm, 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 all right, I'm back where I was at 12 o'clock now. I'm feeling completely discombobulated and bamboo. They carry, men carry around sanitary towels as a sort of icebreaker for conversations with women. Um, yeah, some do. I mean, all it's right. not hugely common, but it oh, does you happen. Live and but I was asking go, um, around notes? the girls, <laughs> and I got called in by my manager, oh. who gave me a reprimand, saying I shouldn't be talking about such things in front of young, impressionable young boys. Oh. And I was thinking, I was fuming. I Absolutely fuming. I didn't last much longer in that job, I must oh, admit. God, that's incredible. And I mean, I'm not defending him. I'm really not defending him. But he is just... He, he's talking about himself. You, you know that. He's just very uncomfortable with this conversation. It was a woman. What?! It was a woman, yeah. It was my man. I don't know that I've ever that. been surprised twice in the course of a conversation <laughs> as much as I've been surprised by you, Annie. And on one call, it was a woman. Yep. What was her and problem she, then? You knew her, I don't. Uh, um, well, she said it was inappropriate and, um, you know, would make the, the young lads feel uncomfortable. Well, I, I spoke never. to them afterwards about it and not one of them said they felt uncomfortable about it at all. No, of course but, they didn't. Did, she, did you have beef with this woman before this occasion occurred? I mean, could that be it? I mean, it, could it be that she was just looking for reasons to give you a hard time rather than being particularly perturbed by the prospect of you having these conversations in the workplace? Well, we hadn't got on brilliantly because no. we had different opinions still, about certain things, yeah. but it wasn't. That was when it started to go properly downhill after oh, that because I thought a, she was being completely unreasonable. That's an absolute shocker, which I think because means I know what you're going to say. What, what do we think then about this appointment of a fella to this job? I think it's a great thing because if you can get boys talking about it as well, then you know it makes it something that isn't stigmatised anymore. Because my argument to her at the time was, well, if I'd got a cold and had a very runny nose, yes. would you be offended if I started asking around the office if anyone had any tissue? And what did you say? Glared at me and told me to get out. <laughs> <laughs> I had a boss like that once. <laughs> Twelve forty to Addy, thank you. And I guess that's it. If what you're trying to do is encourage conversation and destigmatise menstruation then, oh, man, I'm, now I'm worried that I'm mansplaining. I'm so glad that almost all the callers have been women this hour, but I am a little bit perturbed by the... I assumed the manager was a man because of the discomfort surrounding menstruation. I don't, I don't think there was any casual sexism going on there. I don't, I'm much more surprised by a woman being uncomfortable with the issue of menstruation than I would be by a man, which is part of the reason why the appointment of a man, the more we talk about it, appears potentially visionary. But also, I do still get troubling. Um, I, I, I did, yeah, I, look, look, that, what an amazing revelation. That Apparently, it's true. A- Emma has told me that it is, it's not ice-breaking exactly. It's just that young lads nowadays are pretty switched on and helpful. It's just a very odd thing to put. Also, men don't have handbags. Where do you keep it? Where... where Maeve's with me on this one. She goes, that's it, I've heard it all now. Men carrying sanitary stuff, just in case. I need a lie down. Well, all human life is here today. 